how to swing an ax and chop wood. Um, first of all, you're gonna need an ax. There's a difference between a cutting ax and a splitting ax. You can split wood with a regular chopping ax, but to chop wood, you know, say cut down a tree with a splitting ax is not something you wanna be doing. A splitting ax is usually has a much wider section here. It's heavier and the cutting edge is usually dull. One of the first things we're gonna to wanna to look for is a dead tree that's been up and off the ground. Now the perimeter might be wet, but inside is often what you're after. In there is protected from the weather and, and it's often dry. That's what we're gonna look for now. So I found a uh, standing dead tree here. It's a good size. I can test it. It's bone dry in there. How do you properly chop this down? Now you don't want to just chop straight. You know, you don't really get anywhere. You want to come down on slight angles. Chop down a bit like that and then chop up like that. And so you want to try to get a crevice going that starts like a V. The way to swing the ax is you start with one hand up here and the other hand at the bottom. And you come down and as you come down you swing your top hand down and it should touch your bottom hand basically right when you're going to make impact. And that gives you the most power and head speed on the ax, which will allow you to chop most effectively. It's definitely something that takes practice and skill. You have to be really careful because you can come down and slip off the tree and it can come down like this and hit you in the leg in the shin, you could cut an artery, that could be game over. One of the other things you should be careful of, the top of the tree, are there any freaking branches or anything like that that might come down and crash on you? So be mindful of that. You can switch hands, you know, different sides, depending on what works and where you're getting the most leverage and the most power. The middle part is so much harder to be more effective. Move around to this other side and you can get at it here and here and be able to remove much more material quicker than you will from this area. It's not always about power or strength. It's about technique, how you swing your ax and what part of the tree you're hitting and how you're striking it. It's about to go. Timber! Yeehaw! So now we got our tree cut down. Um, a lot of the same principles apply here. Ooh, you see that? Cuts off. So you gotta be careful and stay clear if you do a slip. We've got uh, just one piece here. You can see in here, absolutely bone dry. <sighs> Smells beautiful. I'm gonna go back to camp and I'm gonna show you splitting this guy. Now, having a nice flat ground surface, you know, a hard one is beneficial, but right now I'm just gonna dig it into the ground a bit. To split this guy, you basically just want to aim right for the middle, same principles we talked about before. And especially with this, you know, keep your legs wide. You don't want to hit your legs if you miss. It's not just your arms. You don't just use your arms and chop. It's your whole body, basically. You want to turn your torso, bring it up over, and bring your back down, and really come down on it with all your weight. And that's how you get the most power. So let's split this guy here. There we go. At a certain point, it becomes pretty challenging to get the finer pieces out. So if you have a good knife, um, you can baton and you can just use some of the other pieces as kind of a beating stick here. Um, and to baton, you basically just 
put your knife on top like this, keep your hand good and clear, and just use another stick like this, and you pound it down through. Smack it down, just like that. Now there you go, there's a few tips on how to properly and safely swing an ax, and how to chop some wood, process it down, and always come up with dry wood, even in the wettest of conditions.